Let's look at some of the usability testing methods that are available. Hallway testing is a fast and inexpensive method where randomly selected people are asked to try using a product. This can be done in public by soliciting people to come to a testing location or online. One online service to consider is TryMyUI.com. The testers are normal people that the company recruits online and you can set the demographics of the testers based on certain criteria including gender, age, income, expertise, uh, country of residence, education level, family status, social networks usage, and employment type. You can also add your own qualification criteria. Try My UI also offers pre-product testing for market validation and competitor analysis before a prototype has been created. Another type of testing is expert reviews. For this, usability experts are hired to evaluate the application based on accepted usability principles. A third type to consider is called A-B testing. A-B testing presents two possible solutions to the same problem to identify which is favored. One online service that provides A-B testing for mobile apps is called Optimizely. It's important to note though that Optimizely integrates with your application and does not provide the testers. So this product serves a purpose once the application has been developed and potentially ongoing. To test alternate solutions with clickable prototypes, separate tests can be run with different versions. This brings us to the end of the UX Discovery, Assessment, and Planning section of this course. The quiz for this section is a bit longer than those you've been given so far and I have three exercises for you to work on independently. Here's a closing thought for you. Thorough research and planning can prepare you for not just a successful project, but a successful product. And effective planning involves focus on the user's needs through all areas of the process. Consider your own project. If you don't have one, then make up an idea and try writing a requirements document with focus on what will be your target demographics, your functional requirements, your technical requirements, and your branding related requirements. Once you've completed that as a second exercise for the same project, write up what you believe the user goals are. And then as a third exercise for that same project, write up how the owner of the application could benefit from the users meeting their goals.